Hey, I'm Brian, and in this section, we're gonna teach you the three effective ways to cock your crossbow safely and efficiently. There's three different parts to this. One would be the most efficient way, which is using a crank cocking device. This brings up the string evenly on both sides all the way into the trigger box. The second method is using a rope cocker. And the third method is a good old fashioned way of just using your hands. One of the first things to always remember when cocking a crossbow is to firmly seat your foot into the stirrup. Whether it's a shoot through riser or a bow with a physical foot stirrup on the front of it, you wanna make sure that's seated because that's one of the most common injuries that occur when cocking a crossbow. Because if your foot is not firmly planted in here, the crossbow can come forward during the draw cycle. The other thing I recommend is when cocking a crossbow manually is to mark your strings. Find an even part on both sides of your flight tracks. So when you cock the crossbow, you'll know that it's even all the way up the bow. Once you have your strings marked, keep your fingers tight to the flight track and pull evenly all the way through until you hear a double click inside the trigger box. At that point, you can release the string. You can also verify it by checking your marks to make sure each one is on the side of the flight track inside the trigger box. That way you know that the bow's been drawn and there's an even amount of pressure on both limbs. The reason for making the marks is knowing that your bow is in the same position in the trigger box at every time. This allows for more consistent accuracy when shooting your bow. The next option for cocking your crossbow is a rope cocking device. It basically consists of two hooks with rollers inside to help balance the string inside the trigger box. What that'll allow you to do is pull up evenly every time to have a more consistent shot. It also increases your accuracy. When you get these, they all need to be cut to length for your bow. They come in universal length, so if you try to put this on the bow right now and cock the bow, your arms are gonna be up above your shoulders. They'll have less strength and you have more of an opportunity to let go and dry fire the bow. To properly measure and adjust your cord, you wanna put your rope cocking device onto the string. So bring one hook all the way up to your handle and hook from underneath the string. Then pass the rope through the track on the back of your stock onto the other side of the string. At this point, you wanna pry the cord out of the handle and allow it to slide down. Once you get that in place, just hold it with your hand, which will allow you to save your spot. Take it off and just put a simple knot into the rope. Once you make the knot, before you do any cutting, check twice. So put it back through the track on the back of the stock, put your hooks under, and it's the proper length. So now we need to cut and burn the rope. Cut and leave yourself about a half inch to burn so you get a proper seal on the end of your rope and it doesn't fray. You wanna burn the rope so it's fully melted on the end, and then you're gonna to wanna to have it seated into the handle. To do that is with your foot. So literally just pull up, and as you can see, your knot and your melted tag end are both inside your handle. And you're ready to start using your rope cocking device. Remember, hook's always under. Grab a hold of the handle. Your foot is firmly in the foot stirrup. Pull straight through. Barnett is now producing reverse draw crossbows. And because of it being a reverse draw, when the string comes back into the trigger box, it's at a very tight angle. We don't recommend using your hands because of that tight angle, they'll pinch. So with every reverse draw, we include a rope cocker. On that, basically it's a bracket off of a crank cocking device, but that allows your fingers to be free by seating the rope on the back of the stock, draping it back over and putting the hooks down inside your string stops. You can seat your foot firmly in the stirrup and pull back through without getting your fingers caught inside your trigger box. Using this tool will not only allow you to stay safe, but also stay accurate. The rope cocker we just demonstrated takes about 50% of the energy required to cock the bow out of the picture. The third option requires almost little effort at all. What that is is a crank cocking device. It essentially is a crank mounted to your crossbow with a bracket that comes off the back and hooks over your string. What that allows it to do, being in the fixed position, it allows it to pull the bow all the way back through into the trigger box consistently every time, which allows 
a much higher accuracy rate. The first step to using your crank cocking device is to disengage your safety. Pull this lever back to the down position, which will allow you to take out your bracket. You can pull that bracket all the way down over the string, re-engage your safety by pushing this forward, and just take a couple cranks under the crossbow to make sure it's seated firmly. At this point, you're ready to cock your crossbow. Just a few cranks requires very little effort. And you want to bring it back all the way to hear the double click. At this point, you take your safety off and back out your bracket. At this point, you have two options. Whatever's most comfortable for you while hunting. You can either shoot with a crank on or just by loosening up this thumb screw, you can remove the handle and have less obstruction while hunting. One last thing on the crank cocking device is to never use this as a decocking tool. The only safe way to decock your crossbow is to shoot it into a soft earth or a discharge target. Here, I have a blunt field tip under the crossbow, pointed in a safe direction in the sandy soil, and it's discharged. Now it's safe to transport back to the vehicle and back home. Whatever method you choose for cocking your crossbow, following these steps will allow for a safe and enjoyable hunt.